Hey cute people, yes, I'm not sure what I'm going to title this video, but I went to New York and I got my stuff. If you've been watching my videos for quite some time, I've always mentioned that all my stuff was in New York. I can't wait to get to New York. My stuff is in New York. I can't wait to get there. I'm going next week, next month, next week, next month comes. I can't get there, but this time I went. Yes, I finally got to New York. Um, today is Wednesday. We went last week and um, so I've had my stuff now a little over a week and my house smells so stuffy like an old stuffy creepy house. That's what it smells like. But anyway, I'm holding this camera, my cell phone and I'm going to make this part short because my arm is tired. But let me just tell you guys that um, yeah, it was a short trip because we left from here Saturday early morning, like 2 o'clock in the morning. Had to make a stop in Virginia, and we were back on the road about 7. So we got to New York maybe about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. We were back on the road to North Carolina about 4.30ish. So you see, we were there. We got something to eat, and we were back on our way to North Carolina in a matter of a couple of hours. Now, this is where I want your help. If you're watching this video, I would like for you to leave me a comment, and I'll tell you why. We get to the storage place in the Bronx on Boston Road, Boston Road, Boston Road, yeah, Boston Road, and um, we open up the storage unit, and why did we find a dead rat in my belongings, amongst my belongings, and I didn't stay while they unpacked um, the stuff. It was my cousins and my nephew, so... I was towards the, well, I was closer to the truck, you know, to watch everything, being able to open the door because they have a security door. So I was there to make sure the door was open so they could just come in and out with the stuff. And they come back to me and tell me that on my mattresses, they found two dead mice. Now, remember, it was already a rat. That was two dead mice. No, I did not bring those mattresses here to New York, that box spring either. I left it right there. And let me tell you, they <laughs> sent me an email telling me, you left your unit open. We're going to put a lock on it. And they think I'm going to pay them? Oh, no. I called them, and no one's called me back. But let me just ask you what you would do. Now, I'm going to call them. They're going to do something for me. They have to. I mean, if I had not known a rat and mice were running amongst my stuff, okay, I didn't know. But when you go to a place where you pay a storage fee and you open up your stuff and you see those things dead, come on now, in your stuff. And the thing about it is that when I packed up my stuff, I did overpack some of the boxes so a lot of them broke open. So that means that mice and rats could have most likely been going through my stuff. And I was telling my cousin, a lot of this stuff, I don't even want it anymore. I don't. But it was my stuff. I had to bring it. And I had to put it all in the living room. Because I was like, don't put no boxes in my bedroom. Don't put any boxes in the dining room. Put it all in the living room. I can go through things. And I can clean up things with my Clorox solution. Not wipes. Actual soap and Clorox. Yeah, but my question to you guys is that I would like to know. What would you want the company to do for you? I think I know, I, I want them to refund me some money, but I'm not really sure. I asked my sweet little mommy, and she said, they should give you back a month. No, my stuff has been there for four years. And I know they can't control um, what happens to your stuff in the unit, but they should do more about rats and mice amongst your stuff, especially dying in your stuff. Yeah. So leave me a comment what you would expect for the company to do for you. I'm serious. Leave me a comment. And um, I'm waiting for the people to call me back. No one's called me back. When I called the um, customer service number, the person did say to me the district manager would get back to me at his earliest convenience. Well, it's been over a week. I guess maybe he has a lot of people with this um, mice situation that are really pissed off. I don't know. But um, I'm going to call them as soon as I finish with this video here. Because I just want to show you guys what my home looks like now, which is a mess. It's going to look like a mess for quite some time. But I'm going to show you what it looks like. Yeah, I got my stuff. You don't know how happy I am. But then again, not so happy because, oh, goodness, my house is stuffy. Every time I look at something that's open, I'm like, oh, was a rat on this? Was a mouse on this? Mm, I don't know. But I'm going to show you guys what, what I got, what I'm working with. Yeah. Okay, so 
like I mentioned, I had them put all the stuff in the living room. These things here, these were my coats and stuff. They were in a box that was broken up. I just took them out and put them here. They kind of smell stuffy. Not kind of. They smell stuffy. And there's some of the clothes, too. And I just pulled them out of a box. I don't know what I'm going to do with a lot of these clothes because a lot of them I can't even wear anymore. But this is, like, I'm standing at my front door. Right here, my front door. So you can see the clothes. I do have a little pathway where you can walk. See? Yeah, I, I bought the TV. I had another TV. I left it there. So hopefully somebody can get good use out of it. But remember, they put a lock on it. <laughs> so they told me. I left my unit unlocked. We'll put a lock on it for you. And of course, we're going to keep charging you. Yeah. But as you can see, I have a lot of big boxes. And like I said, I probably filled them up too much because you see a lot of them are broken, busted open. And I was thinking, my gosh, rats running through my stuff. But it is right now what it is. Like I said, I'll just clean everything that I can. I'll do something with these coats right here. Even though heavy coats like this, I wouldn't really need here in North Carolina. You know, but I probably can't. Well, not probably. I can't fit a lot of that stuff. But here is what my house looked like. I don't know why I let them put that ironing board way back there. But a lot of the um, bags you see are clothes. So I'm going to go through those clothes. Well, no time really soon because I have to separate them. A lot of them I probably don't even want anymore. There's some um, records right there that was in a box. I took those out. So I did get a chance to empty out some of the boxes see that box is open over there and um when i first did this video last week when i first got home um there was some more boxes maybe i think since i've been home i cleaned cleaned out or cleared out emptied out maybe about five or six boxes because right here in this area here there were two boxes so we got rid of that and then the box um that i cleared out was as big that u-haul box right there so two of those and one of them was books which you see the books there and like i mentioned i told them to put everything in this living room here these fur coats are really uh, i gotta find a place to get those clean and this here see was full of cds so do you know how heavy this was there's another box over there with full of cds and back there i had some stuff that i well you see a big old gap that's because i didn't have anything there and I guess they didn't put boxes on top of it which was great so a lot of these bags are closed so that'll be pretty much easy to go through and here's my bed which I have to wipe down with some Clorox and stuff but I don't have a mattress right now because remember I told you I left that I was not bringing that with me at all and then they're gonna <laughs> write me talking about you left your unit open we're gonna put a lock on it for you yeah and here's my wardrobe, which I'm going to move into my bedroom. And here's my dining room table, which is pretty much, well, destroyed. I got to figure out, I'm not going to worry about it right now, but I got to figure out how to get that fixed because it needs to be fixed. So right now, my house just looks like a place where people sleep and eat. And here's my chairs. My chairs, some of them have... Um, what do we, what do we, I, don't, I, I don't know if you would say dense, but yeah, they scratched, scrapes and scratches, so I can fix that. But my table, I'm not sure. I can't really show you the table because it's really heavy, but as you can see, there's a lot of cracks here. So, And then on the other side of the table, there's a big old crack, and this thing is really, really heavy. So I'm waiting for my nephew to come over to help my son put it on top of this table here i found some old <laughs> bath and body works candles which um you can see burned down to the but i still brought up yes i did honey because i need these jars for something i'm not sure that i never put curtains up because i wasn't really sure at first i thought my dining room table was much bigger than it is i kept saying my furniture will not fit in this little area but it fits okay and then i'll have some room too because i have this cabinet over here that i want to put up so this cabinet here then i'll be able to store some things and like i mentioned to you i have a lot of books i have two other boxes of books that my son put in the storage closet on the patio 
And um, I left some books too. I don't know why I left those books. The um, box was broken open and all I could think of was a mouse or a rat in it. So I didn't want to touch it. So I told him to leave that. I left a television, some blow dryers that I had in a plastic bag that looked like um, the plastic had been eaten up. I'm not sure if they did eat it up or the blow dryers were busting through the bags. But I had a Super Solano. If you know about Super Solano, that's a great blow dryer. And I left that. I wish I hadn't. But you can see. Look at my chair. Oh, gosh. I got work to do, child. I have to reupholster my chairs because on one of the chairs, yeah, there was some type of um, ink that got on the chair. So that's going to be fun. A lot of things that I'm going to be doing lately is going to be a lot of fun. Because really, I'm going to be decorating pretty much from scratch, so to speak. And I'm really looking forward to it. I'm going to have a lot of fun getting this place together. And I thought I would document it some type of way so I can share with you guys what my place is going to look like. I got to fix that. Yeah, I didn't want to put holes in the wall. So this is one of those um, curtain rods that you don't have to put holes in the wall. And you know, my son scratched up the wall. Yeah, I don't like it like that. Because see how it hangs? So I got to move it up a little bit, but that's not a priority. The priority is this stuff right here. I got to get this done. But listen, guys, I ask the question. I hope you leave me a comment because I'm really curious. What would you expect? I know I'm going to ask for something, but I'm not really sure. But it's not going to be a month because already I got the heebie-jeebies. Every time I touch something, because I keep thinking, did a mice, a mouse, or a rat run on this stuff because as you can see a lot of these boxes have broken open like that box right there is full of clothes and it's busted open oh <sighs> my bags here this is some of them i don't think this is all my pocketbooks it may be but here we go again same thing okay i won't even get into all that you get the gist but leave me a comment what would you expect i'm, I'm serious if you come across this video you're reading it you're not reading the video. You're watching it. Let me know what you would do. And this is what we look like. I did make some progress. <laughs> and I think I'll make a lot more, especially on my day off. Like today, I'm taking some time off. So I told myself I will go through two boxes. So I'm going to go through those two boxes right there. Now, that's my plan. Yeah, that's my plan. So, yeah, there's a door. So you see how that looks there. But that's my plan. I'm not going to keep you guys any longer. I'm going to end this video now because I need to start doing something here. And I do want to get a little something to eat first to get us some energy. But leave me a comment. And I do want to say, um, well, thank you very much for stopping by and watching this video. And hopefully I will see you in the next. And you know I want you to do nothing but spread and share love. Spread love. Share it too. You guys have a great day.